What's up, everybody, ladies and gentlemen of the jury? Mm -hmm. Now, y'all yeah, probably seen these people's these people's pictures before on TV or on in my videos. Now, I've been sitting here talking to a colleague, not a colleague, but an associate of mine, a good friend of mine, and we was talking about these kids, about how these schools are screwing them over. You could say, I could sit there and say, oh, no, it's the parents' fault, it's the parents' fault. Yeah, it starts from home, but it starts from home, but usually it starts from school. The issues take place at school. Now, y'all might see that whole Casey and Richie, the fat kid, body slamming the skinny kid. See, the problem was at school. School didn't do shit. School didn't do a damn thing. To stop it, pre stop preventing all the teachers. All when we tell the teacher, teacher don't want it. Oh, they don't tell teachers. Yes, the fuck they do. Students do. The students that does tell teachers don't get nothing. The teachers sit on their ass and don't do a damn thing. They know there's an issue. They know there's a problem. They know that they know there's something there. And what do they do? Not a damn thing. I don't, I tell you, I tell you, man. I there was a there was a kid. I, one of my friends gave me an article. It was about a kid, and 12 years old in middle school. And he's in Boy Scouts. The boy sat there and took a, some gasoline and a knife to school to to scare the shit out of the bullies. And this is happening in Florida. This happened in Florida. And the boy went to school with the gasoline and the knife. The teacher smelled the gasoline and go to the bla go to the bathroom and clean up. The boy went to the bathroom. He spent a long time in that bathroom. You know, like them schools got them little cops in there, little rental cops up in there. Well, that school had one. So a little boy was in the bathroom. You sitting over there telling the teacher, telling the cop, "Come here, come here, come here, dude. I got to shoot you. Come here, get it done. Come on, dude. Come here, come over here." So the police officer went over there to see what happened, see what's up with this little boy, see if he got an issue. Once he got over there, he found out the boy had a knife, and the boy started cutting him, stabbing him, slicing him, just shanking the shit out of him. Now the boys and now the boys in lockup. You know what I'm saying? It's not just the parents that are failing; it's the fucking teachers too. When the teachers know there's an issue, they don't do a damn thing. They sit there and say, "Oh, things can work out." Fuck no, things will never work out. Things will never stop. As long as you sit there and say this shit to y'all, oh, let it work itself out. Fuck that shit. All these kids that you see in the days, lives been ruined because teachers ain't doing a fucking job on at school. The teachers are not doing their fucking job at school. All, all they saying all we do is here to teach kids. We ain't supposed to protect it, motherfucker. Your job, your responsibility is when the child is in your custody through school your job is to educate and protect that might not be your child but that's your responsibility that is your fucking job is to protect and educate these kids ain't now one of these ain't now one of these teachers did a damn thing about it now you see all these kids that are dying off some of these pictures that you see are kids that committed suicide and it happened from it happened because they got bullied in school, and the teachers knew about it and ain't did a damn thing about it. Ain't did a damn thing about it. Now I'm gonna show y'all. This kid right here might see him in the video. Did called Richie. Uh, who's the real bully? Richie versus Richie and Casey. He said he was bullied videotape shows a different story the evidence 
the video shows that that he was in showing that he was throwing punches on this kid that this kid was trying trying to block the blows and all like that till he got sick enough of getting hit and so he defended himself by body slamming him while teachers was around the teachers didn't do a damn thing if the teachers would have stepped in the video would never got out the kids families would never got fucked over if the teachers would have stepped in and this is in school the school is failing us just as the parents are failing the parents are failing because they're not there supporting and backing these kids up and the, and the teachers are failing is because they don't want to do their damn job now this child oh lord jesus let me tell you about this girl in college UCLA these damn colleges need to ump the antis on these damn bylaws they got in these schools. That's what y'all need. That's what they need to do. Bylaws. If y'all need to ump the antis on this damn bylaw shit. If the girl would have shut the fuck up, she would still be in UCLA. Yeah, these damn colleges need to step the fuck up. Because... Ever since that kid, this kid, committed suicide in college, jumping off the Washington Bridge, uh, fucking colleges should have realized something. Hey, we need to up the antis. What y'all, what they need to do is take all these damn computers and these damn, take, take the internet and the computers away from the students in school because it's a damn issue. Them kids are sitting there cyberbullying in school. Oh, there's a, there, that's a non tolerance rule. We don't allow cyber bullshit. They're going to do it anyway. You could say there's no bullying while on school ground, but the fucker's going to do it anyway. The kids are sneaky. They're going to do shit. Now, you, now, these kids are paying a fucking price because these damn teachers ain't doing shit. The damn parents ain't doing shit. If they gave two shits of a fuck about the kids, the damn kids would still be living the day. damn girl in the UCLA would never be jumping out of college the chubby kid would never the chubby kid would never got kicked out of school and got a damn video game after him if these damn people wake the fuck up that's the damn issue the damn parents the damn teachers ain't doing their fucking job I put all the blame on them y'all can say oh you can't blame the people you can't blame the parents. You can't blame the teacher. Motherfuckers. The parents are to blame because they're not doing their fucking job. The teachers are to blame because they're not doing their fucking job. If the teachers did their... Did. If the parents and the teachers did their job. Then them two boys would never shot up Columbines and shot themselves. This is the facts, people. If they would have did their job. Columbine would never happen. Kids would never commit suicide. The chubby kid and the skinny kid would never got all this damn publicity. The girl from UCLA would never do stupid shit on the internet. Y'all think it's funny, but I don't. I'm not laughing. I'm not laughing. Y'all kind. Y'all. I know y'all gonna sit sit there and say, "Oh, this shit is boring. This is fucked up. Your shit. You just full of shit." No, it's just the fact of the matter is. These kids are dying off, getting in more trouble when I was in school. When I was in school, we ain't getting this much, much fucking trouble in a lifetime. We ain't getting this motherfucking trouble. But these kids are doing more harm to each other than we ever did when I was in school. Or when your parents was in school. Now, ladies and gentlemen, like I said, man, we got to stand up for something, man. Put a stop to this stupidness, to these damn cyber bullies, to these teen suicides, to these kids going on fucking YouTube and leaving racist, racist videos up. Or where kids are sitting there getting 
No, I'm gonna tell you this. You two, y'all need y'all full of shit. Y'all full of shit. Y'all saying that statement. Oh, y'all don't lie on fight videos on your site. Bullshit. That's a damn lie. Everybody know that's a damn lie. You go up and take team fight and you find a shitload. But like I said, man, it's fucked up. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been Afro Joe. Tell me what you think on the topic and the topic only. Not about me, but the topic. If you like what you see, tell me what you think about the issues, the topic I'm talking about. If you don't like it, take your ass on so with the bullshit. Make sure y'all subscribe to my page on YouTube. And tell your friends about me. Because this is Afro Joe, and I just told y'all the fucking truth. Peace. Peace, ladies and gentlemen. Peace.